Restoration Ranch was founded initially as a holistic equine rehabilitation center. And so what we do is we rehabilitate horses that have been abused, neglected, left for slaughter. And part of what came out of that was a group of veterans who live in my community um, said they wanted to get involved and they wanted to learn and pay forward some of the things that they had going for them um, by helping us help the horses. And what's come out of that really is a healing program for veterans and their family members to get involved uh, and help us heal the horses. And it has a lot of different expressions. We do body work, we do homeopathy, we do uh, exercise, we do uh, partnership programs. And all of that is as healing for the horses as it is for the humans. So veterans, because my board of directors is really run by veterans, um, you know, we dedicated this 27 acre property to be um, for the sole purpose of veterans and their family members to heal. We kind of try to do two things really well. One is work with um, equines or horses that uh, have been either um, seized or rescued or um, have been given to us from um, various other organizations that either they don't serve a purpose anymore or they're having challenges with and so what we really try to focus on is rehabilitating them both emotionally and physically and we kind of do the same thing with the veteran community. We actually have a program called Hope for Heroes that is specifically for veteran service members and military families um, so we're able to offer counseling for free uh, for that population and then uh, we also the acupuncture and other services are offered on a sliding fee scale. The services that we offer through Hope for Heroes are also available to the community at large. So yeah, they're available to anyone. Well, yeah. Playing around, buddy. Having a good time. The horses, there's something so special that God put in the horse that just helps you know transcend individuals that have you know experienced some trauma and that's all of us i mean we all can say something in our life that was was traumatic so when we uh, are able to help the veterans and their family members to me there's nothing more rewarding than that they interact with each other with an unspoken communication so the great thing about coming out of here and working with them is you don't really have to talk about or verbalize some of the things you may be dealing with internally. They are a very spatially aware creature, so they're able to tell when you're um, emotionally in a, in a state of vulnerability or not, and how they interact with you is just unlike anything I've ever experienced with any other animal or any other um, avenue of treatment. It's my understanding that often people who have experienced any kind of trauma can have a difficulty connecting with other people. And so I think animals like horses and dogs provide a very safe means of connecting with another being. And that can often be a gateway into connecting with humans eventually. So, and I also, I've heard that it, it's a way for people to get to know themselves, reconnect with themselves, become aware of their own bodies because the horses are very sensitive and pick up on how we feel and so it's important for us to learn self-regulation. I never realized the connection that you could have as an adult in a therapeutic way. There's something about being with them, I think because they're so imposing, but they're so beautiful at the same time you're drawn to them, you really have to pay attention in the moment. And that's what a lot of us going through anxiety and stress and veterans with stress, our minds are just going all the time. Too much thinking, too much worrying. And when you're with that horse, you really can't do that. The neat thing about the horse is there's no judgment. There, there's no perceived idea of what they should and they shouldn't do or what you need or don't need. It's just they take you where you're at. And, and that's a beautiful thing because we as humans, most of us either live in the past or we think about living in the future, but we don't think about the now. And the beauty of the horse is the now. Then what manifests from that is the fact that the 
individuals start seeing a different reflection of themselves in the horse. And then you can expound on it. Learning how to see yourself in a different manner, that, that's a God thing. I mean, we're just blessed beyond belief.